I've tried Godot, I've tried Unreal, and I'm still sticking to Unity. You may wonder why. I have to say that I started with Unity, and you know, the moment you start with something, it feels familiar already. So, of course, I had a hard time while I was starting out, but for me, it's been a couple of months, and with Unreal, I had only one day of experience with Godot as well. So, yeah, of course, I put a lot of hours in Unity. The second reason is that you will 100% find out a tutorial on YouTube, something on Stack Overflow, about the code, in GitHub, wherever. The resources are out there. It's like a pathway to heaven, it's not on the other direction, so it's very very easy to find materials assets even in the Unity asset store. The third reason is that, for example, my computer is not very very powerful. I saw a lot of comments from you guys that you told me you should do this for Unreal, you should do that to make it work. Well, I just installed Unity and that was pretty much it. I didn't have to change from Unity 5 to Unity 4 or something like that. So it's very easy. With that, it was also a bit weird at first and I got very very confused because I didn't know which one should I download and how but I feel like Unity was the easiest one, which is great in my opinion. The next good reason is that you can make either 3D or 2D games in Unity, it doesn't really matter. I've heard that Unreal is very famous for its 3D stuff and Galat for its 2D stuff, so for me that's how I see things a little bit, even though I like to try myself and then say in Unity you can do both pretty well without having any issue. Another reason is that I'm thinking of a career in game dev and I saw a lot of companies that are focusing on Unity and Unreal, so Godot is a bit out there, it's not that trustful yet I would say. Unfortunately, of course, for those who are passionate about it or who have a lot of experience with it. So this is why I prefer focusing on an engine that's gonna bring me some revenue at some point, like why not making a leave out of it? For me, it sounds like a dream life. Another reason that's kind of familiar to the first one that I brought to the table is that while I grew up, I saw the Unity logo a lot of times. Imagine I downloaded a game from Google Play Store, right? And I saw Made with Unity. I was like, what is this? Why I see this every time? Because I feel like at some point in my life, and I'm 20 years old, I saw it too much, way too much, that it sticked into my mind and I wondered what if one day I'll be capable of creating something like that because I had a time in which I was checking Google Play Store every day almost to see what's new out there and i saw all these games made with unity few of them were actually very very bad like stuff didn't even work and they had a lot of ads so my mom was like okay so they produce money out of it even though it's very bad like i don't even enjoy playing it not to mention the fact that i have to wait 30 seconds for an ad to be skipped so i was like i'm pretty sure i can create something better than this and why not making money out of it another reason is that i see a lot of youtubers that are using unity at least my favorite youtubers and it's gonna be easier for me to interact with them another reason is that i literally love combining all the assets and it feels like it's easy to do. And I feel like the easiest way is in Unity. I don't know why with Galat I got very confused. And I have to say, there are not a lot of assets out there. In Unreal, yes. Do I have the minimum requirements for Unreal 5 or latest version, whatever? No, not yet. Maybe if I'll get a better laptop with better specifications, of course. Why not? Who knows? But I have to say that Unreal didn't disappoint me at all. I have to give it just more time. But keep in mind that I'm also a student, so my spare time is limited. It's not like I'm fully YouTuber or whatever. So yeah, I just keep learning stuff and I encourage you guys to do so. Make sure to give a try to each engine and see exactly which one fits you and why, because it's very important. Everyone got their own reasons. These were mine. So I'm very glad you stayed here, you've heard my experience, maybe you got something to think of from it? I hope so. I'm The Nonconformist, thank you very much for being here, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.